I found an apple brown Betty recipe from Mary Philbin, who you may know as Christine in the silent film of Phantom of the Opera. She also played Dea in The Man Who Laughs, which is my favorite performance of hers. And that's what we're going to make today. Hey everyone, it's Alicia and welcome back into my kitchen. And yes, today we are going to make Mary Philbin's Brown Betty. This recipe was first published in the 1929 Photoplay Cookbook and I, in turn, found it on a blog called Movies Silently, which shares old school Hollywood recipes. So with that, let's get started. Here's what you're going to need. Four apples that you peel and slice, but that's self-explanatory, but they're the apples. Two cups of breadcrumbs. A mixture of sugar and cinnamon, which is three-fourths of a cup of sugar mixed with two teaspoons of cinnamon, some butter, and lemon juice, freshly squeezed, of course. Here are the apples peeled and sliced, and that's the most difficult part of the recipe. Now we just layer everything into a greased baking dish. So the layers go as follows. Apples, cinnamon sugar, breadcrumbs, and cinnamon sugar. And repeat these layers until the dish is full, making sure that breadcrumbs are on top. There we go. And now Mary says to dot the top with a few flakes of butter and pour over the lemon juice. Ta-da! Now we're gonna bake this covered for 35 minutes and then uncovered for 10 minutes. So a total bake time of 45 minutes. And here it is just out of the oven, Mary Philbin's Brown Betty. This smells absolutely incredible. You can really smell the cinnamon and the baked apples. I cannot wait to eat this. And like I mentioned before, Mary recommends serving this with hard sauce. She didn't give her own personal recipe for it, but I googled 1920s hard sauce and I found a recipe from the Spruce Eats. So if I make the hard sauce, I'll go with that. But I also have some French vanilla ice cream in my freezer right now. So this time I might serve the brown Betty with that and try the hard sauce another time. But anyway, if you want to find the hard sauce recipe I'm going to use, look for the one from the Spruce Eats. And as for the kind I would make, I would either do a lemon hard sauce, which is a non-alcoholic version, especially because this is a recipe from the 1920s when alcohol was illegal, or to give a nod to Mary's Irish Catholic background, I would make a whiskey hard sauce. So... I will let you know whether I went with the hard sauce or the ice cream on Instagram and the full recipe for Mary's Brown Betty will be on my Instagram as well. So with that, thank you for joining me. I will see you next time in my kitchen and blessed be.